everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn Online Classes. How are you all doing? Great. Okay. So as I have already promised you that we are going to discuss about the different science facts. So this is another session for you uh, to discuss about a different type of science fact. Okay. Now, so welcome to Swift Learn. And as you already know that Swift Learn is the India's most sincere learning destination for classes 1 to 10. Over here, all the classes are 100% live and interactive classes. We give personalized attention to each and every student because in our batches, mein maximum 6 students are hai. And thirdly, we have a very good dedicated academic mentor team who continuously track how you are progressing, uh, what is your activities, how you are performing in class as well as in the homework portion. And the fourth Fourth, very very important is we cover the syllabus as per your school examination schedule if you have any sort of thing which is coming in your school examination you can tell it to us we will do those first okay so this type of custom request generally we handle now let us see what we are going to discuss in today's session today we are mainly discussing with uh, about the fireflies okay so how do you think the fireflies produce light do you, have you ever seen any fireflies? Yes, mainly during the night time. Yes, who are they? Okay, chalo. So, today we are going to see fireflies. Korn hai, uh, what you mean by bioluminescence? How do they produce the light and where we can find them? So, have you ever uh, done one thing, played with the fireflies? Have you ever caught any fireflies in the jar and kept it in the bedside table or anywhere and just observe how twinkling, sparkling lights they produce during the night time? Yes, have you ever done this? No? Okay, if you have not done this, please do this experiment. Okay, so it will be a fun to you. So, who are these fireflies? So, first of all, as you can see that it is a fly. So, must be, it has to be an insect. No? So, this is one type of insect and the insects have a lot of different varieties. So, it will come under the beetle family. So, it is one type of soft bodied beetle and the most important portion, the most important characteristic of them is they can produce light. And as they can produce light, we call them as the bioluminescent animal okay now this word what do you mean by this bioluminescence or i'm talking about the bioluminescent animal bioluminescent uh, firefly what do you mean by this so any animal who can produce their own light from their body we will call them as the bioluminescent animal and this process is known as the bioluminescence Okay, so how do they produce the light? We cannot produce the light from our body, no? So how do they produce the light? There must be something special or something magical within their body, no? What is that magic? They have a different type of cell within their body where this magic happens and this magic is nothing but the chemical reaction. Okay, so one type of chemical reaction happens within their body and which help them to produce the light. Now, can you name some of the other bioluminescent animals other than fireflies? Yes, any idea? So, mostly where we can find these bioluminescent animals are marine. Okay, so they are present under the ocean, uh, maybe some bacteria, algae, certain crustaceans, certain jellyfish also sometimes, squid and these are the different types of animals which can produce their own light from their body. Okay, now let's see where we can find these fireflies because we have to collect them and keep it in the jar, no? Yes, so basically they are found in the tropical climates and the temperate zones, the temperate climate. So we can find in the tropical region of Asia and America. Okay, so and the most important thing is we can see them mostly during the night time. And that is why we can say that they are nocturnal in nature. Okay. Now, how do they produce the light? So, do you think that it is a total magic or like, do you know about the magic? What happens within their body? Okay, you already have an idea like we breathe in and breathe out and while breathing in, we take the oxygen-rich air, no? And this oxygen, after going within our body, they 
help in the respiration process. Similarly, they also take the oxygen that also help them in the respiration process as well as that also help them in producing the light. How? So, after taking this oxygen within their body, they have certain special cells within the abdominal portion. So, what will happen? This oxygen will combine with the calcium which is already there in their body and ATP that is the adenosine triphosphate. You already know this is the energy currency and along with a very special chemical which is luciferine so we don't have the luciferine that is why we cannot produce the light okay so this oxygen will combine with these three chemicals in presence of a bioluminescent enzyme that is known as luciferase and this will help them to produce the light okay so this luciferase is a special type of enzyme which help in producing the light within their body now, if you think about the production of light, you have the bulb, tube light, many different types of lights in your home, no? So, have you ever touched that after glowing for a long period of time? Have you felt heat in front of it? Yes? But what happened to the firefly, the light which is produced is a cold light. They do not produce that much amount of heat because they conserve the heat within their body. So that lot of energy will not get lost from their body. This is another type of characteristic feature of their body. Now let us see in which portion they have this specialized cell. So you can see this is a beetle, the firefly beetle. And uh, generally we call it as the big dipper firefly. So you can just focus on the abdominal portion. So here in the abdomen, they have certain special types of cell. And within this special type of cell, the main chemical reaction happens in presence of oxygen. I have already told you. Yes. And this abdominal portion is covered with a transparent exoskeleton. And this transparent exoskeleton basically help us to see the light which is formed by them from outside. Got it now? Yes, isn't it very nice? Okay, so like we cannot control the chemical reactions within our body, but the firefly has this capability. They can produce the light as well as they can control the production of the light. How this chemical reaction will happen within their body, this is also on their hand. Okay, so by this they can add the oxygen to produce more light and in absence of oxygen they can produce less light or the light goes out when there will be no supply of oxygen. By this they can control the reaction at the beginning and end of the uh, production of the light. Isn't it very nice? Yes? Okay, so hopefully you have understood the production of the light by the firefly and you will be able to tell it to your friends also so that they can know about a lot of different types of science facts in the uh, upcoming sessions. Yes, so thank you very much for staying till the end. I hope that you have understood how the fireflies can produce their light. And we will again meet in the next session with a new type of science fact. Before that, let me again remind you to please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming sessions. And don't forget to like, comment and share also. Share, with you, uh, share it with your friends so that they can also come to know a lot about the different science facts okay so bye bye take care